Alexa, turn on relay one. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay two. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. So today I come up with a new project that you have just now seen. So this is the home automation project which I built using the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. But the unique part of this project is I have integrated the Alexa with the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. Now let's see what are the things that we are going to learn in this video. So first we need to learn about the circuit diagram of the project. Second we will learn about how to configure the Arduino IoT Cloud platform and third we will learn about how to write the code for the same. Now here I am trying to turn on this ring light and one LED bulb using the relay ESP32 board and the Alexa. Without wasting time, let's get started. Now let's see how to build the circuit diagram using the Easy EDA platform. So in order to build this project, you need ESP32 board and two channel relay module. So the relay channel module depends upon the number of electrical appliances that you wanted to control. So here I am using only two electrical appliances. So that's why I am using the two channel relay module. Now let's see the circuit diagram of this project. Here as you can see on the screen, the relay module has input pin, ground pin and VCC pin. So the input pin is basically the digital pin and we can control the relay using this pin that is input 1. So what I have done, I have connected this input 1 to the D5 pin of the ESP32 board. Same way I have connected the ground of the relay 1 to the ground pin of the relay 2. Also I have connected the VCC of the relay 1 to the VCC pin of the relay 2. And after making this connection common and I have connected the ground of both the relays to the ground of ESP32 board. Also I have given the common connection of VCC as well. Here you can see I have connected this V in pin to the VCC of both the relay modules. Now why I have used here V in pin? Because these relays operate only when it gets the 5 volt supply. So whenever you are connecting micro USB to the ESP32 board then we are getting the exact same voltage at the pin V in. That means we are getting the 5 volt. So that's why I am using here V in pin not the 3V3. Okay, so I hope it's clear to you now. Now on the other side of the relay module has these three points. One is NC that is normally closed. The middle one is basically the common point and this NO is basically the normally open point. Now let's see how to connect the LED and the ring light to the relay 1 and the relay 2 respectively. Now for relay 1 just consider you have a LED bulb. An LED bulb also has two wires. One is phase and another wire is neutral. So here I have just taken this LED which has positive and negative. You can consider this is like a phase and neutral. Now if you see I have already connected the positive terminal from the battery directly to the common point of the relay. So this is like a phase wire from the power supply. Just connect the phase to the common and the next part which is the positive part of the LED is connected to the normally open point. So the same way you have to connect the another LED bulb. Now let's move to the next part of the project that is configuring the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform. Okay, just search for Arduino IoT Cloud, click on enter and then select the first platform which is Arduino IoT Cloud. And now here you can see option which is Arduino IoT Cloud. Let's click on that. Now I have already created the account so I can sign in using the Google. It's very simple. I will select my account. Now let's see what are the things we need to configure in the Arduino IoT Cloud platform once we logged in. So here first we need to create a thing. Now thing means we need to create a device or you can say we need to add a device to the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. Now how to add a device? So you just have to click on create. Now. You have to give the name to your device like here I have using the ESP32 or you can give the name based on the application for what you are using the device. So here I will write ESP32 Home Automation. 
like this so now you have renamed the device now here you can see you need to select the device just click here on select device now here i have already created the device which is called esp32 with alexa but i'll set up a new device for you let's click on set up a new device so now here we are using a device which is not from the arduino family we are using here a third party device that is esp32 let's click on set up third party device now select esp32 and search for esp32 dev kit v1 here you can see select this do it esp32 dev kit v1 and then click on continue also you can rename the device as well so here i can give a random name that is esp32 underscore 101 and click on next now once you clicked on next you will get the setup device or you can say you will get the device id and the secret key for your device now what i'll do i'll just download this pdf because we are going to need this secret key in upcoming part of the project and also once you clicked on continue you are not going to get this key back so now i'll click on continue now i'll click on save and click on continue now we have created our device okay so the device is successfully created now what we need to do now we need to provide the network credentials to our device so that our device will connect to the internet now i'll click on configure and here i'll write the name of my wi-fi i'll provide the password and as i mentioned earlier that we need to provide the secret key as well so here i'll write the password name so here i'll provide the wi-fi credentials and now i'll just take the secret key from here created a device you have given the network credentials to the device and now you need to add variables now i'll click on variable so now give the name to the variable it's like for example if i wanted to control the ring light then i'll give the name of the variable as a ring light and here i'll select the variable compatible with the alexa and then i'll select here switch here you can see cloud switch ring light the variable is already declared by the arduino it cloud platform itself now let's select this variable permission read and write and variable update policy as a on change let's click on add variable so now you have successfully added one variable let's add one more variable i'll click on add now here i will add variable as like you can say the bulb and i'll select it as alexa compatible and i'll go to the switch and i'll and also select variable permission as read and write and variable update policy as on change click on add variable okay as you can see we have successfully added two variables one is bulb and another one is ring light so now i'll go to the sketch and i will write the program for the same so now i have already written down the program for the same project which i've already built now i will just walk you through that code and then you can modify your code as well based on that code okay now i will just go to the things and i will go to my previous thing which i've created which is alexa esp32 now if you're not able to understand anything related to the arduino iot cloud platform then i have already created a playlist for the same so you can watch my arduino iot cloud platform playlist given the variable name as relay 1 and relay 2 you have seen the demo of the project where i am telling that turn on the relay 1 turn on the relay 2 so that's why i told you give the name of the variable like bulb ring light or whatever the electrical device that you are controlling okay now let me go to the code which is sketch yeah so here you can see you can also modify your code here as well but i, I but i will suggest you to open the full editor i'll click on this now so what arduino IoT cloud platform will do for you they will already declare the variables you can see that but still we need to follow the basic code that we used to do in the arduino programming so arduino code has the basic syntax and the syntax is like first we define the pins and second inside the void setup we say 
that which pins are input pins and which pins are output pin and in the while loop section what we will do we will write the code in order to so in the while loop we will mainly write the code which we wanted to run continuously now we need to follow the same thing on the arduino iot cloud platforms web editor as well so let's see what are the changes that i have done now here as i mentioned you so these are the code which is already given us by the arduino iot cloud platform itself now the addition what you need to do is you need to define the two pins here you can see i have defined the pins which is like relay 1 and relay 2 now i will suggest you to use the different names for the variable that you have created inside the arduino iot cloud platform here i am using the relay 1 and relay 2 also i have used the relay underscore 1 and relay underscore 2 there is no much difference in the variables i suggest you to use the different names okay now here you can see the relay 1 is connected to the 4 and relay 2 is connected to the pin number 5 as i already mentioned you while explaining you the circuit diagram now let's come inside the white setup and now inside the white setup i have defined those two pins as a output pins using the pin mode command pin mode relay 1 comma output okay now let's see where we need to do the changes i haven't done any changes inside the white loop we don't have to do anything now what is this wide on relay 1 change and wide on relay 2 change so this relay 1 change is nothing but it's a function now whenever we are going to create a dashboard on the arduino IT cloud platform there we are going to get a small widget or you can say a small switch so whenever i am going to press that switch then i am going to get a data so here you can see so whenever you are pressing that switch what you wanted to happen so now what i've done i've written down this program so whenever you will press that switch if you have pressed that switch that means relay underscore one the variable which i have already defined in the ordinary cloud platform then what i'm doing i'm just turning on relay one high so in order to turn on the relay one we need to use this command digital write relay one comma high now if the switch is on off position then what we are doing else digital write relay one as a low so now what i'll do i'll just copy this entire thing Control c and then i'll paste it here you can see and here you need to change relay to only that if the relay to is on then turn on the relay to high also if it is off then turn it off as, turn it off as well so this is very simple line of code that you need to write so if you give the different name to your variable then you can see your name as well for example if you have given the name as ring light then you will see on ring light change opening closing bracket so you will see this kind of changes in your function as well so once this function changes so how this function will change whenever we are toggle where whenever we will toggle the switch okay now i have already uploaded the same code to my esp32 board okay so how to select the board in order to upload the code first so here you have to select the board okay just search for esp32 dev kit here you can see you got it do it esp32 dev kit v1 now click on ok yeah so now we have selected the board and now in order to upload the code you have to click here now there is one more important part for this so there is one more very important part in order to upload the code that you need to have that you need to install the Arduino agent now what is Arduino agent so here you can see I have already installed this Arduino agent so this Arduino agent is nothing but it's the bridge between your device and the Arduino web editor that means we are trying to upload code from the cloud platform to the esp32 so for that we need to have a agent in between them so we need to install the arduino agent in order to upload the code from web editor to the device so you just have to search here arduino agent download like this so you can easily able to download this arduino create agent so now we will create the dashboard in order to control the relays let's see okay so i'll go to the dashboard 
So as you can see, I have already created the dashboard, which is home automation. I'll click on that. And now you have to click here on the edit section. Then only you can able to edit this part. Now I'll click on add widget and I'll click on switch. So this is how you have to add the widget and you can rename it as like I'm renaming it as a ring light and I can link variable here. I'm linking the variable to and I'm just clicking on link variable. Okay. Also show thing name on the device or you can say widget. You can click on that. So you will get your thing name here and I'll just click on done. So now I have added the widget, which is switch widget. Okay. Also, you can rename it. You can give the name. Okay. Now just click on this eye icon. Yeah. So we have successfully created. So if you can see these two widgets are same. So that's why whenever I'm clicking on this one, the two is also working. So this is how we can easily able to add the widget on the Arduino IT cloud platform. Okay. Now we have created the dashboard. Now, as we have seen how to configure the Arduino IT cloud platform. Now let's see how to integrate Alexa with the Arduino IT cloud platform. Now, in order to integrate Alexa with the Arduino IT cloud platform, you need to install the Alexa app. Now let's see one of the most important part of this project that is controlling the devices using the Alexa. Now for that, we need to integrate the Alexa with the Arduino IoT cloud platform. So how can we do that? So in order to integrate the Alexa with the Arduino IoT cloud platform, we need to install the Alexa app on our mobile phone. Now let's open the Alexa app and go to the more section. And in the more section, you will see skills and games. Search for Arduino. Yes, so you can see here the first option, which is Arduino Alexa, turn on the coffee machine and everything. Let's click on that. Now here you can see that it is written here, disable skill because here I have already enabled my skill. That means I have already connected. I have already connected the same Arduino IoT cloud account, which I'm using right now on the screen to the Alexa app. So what you have to do, you have to click here on enable the skill and then you have to go then you have to connect the same account that you are using as i have already connected my account i'm not able to show you the process you have to connect the same arduino iot cloud account to the alexa app just go to the skill section and connect the account then then the alexa then the alexa app look for the devices that you have created then alexa app will automatically add whatever the devices that you have created that means whatever the variables that you have added Whatever the variable that you have added inside the Arduino IoT Cloud platform will come inside the Alexa app. Now I'll go back. I'll come to the home. Go to the skills and games. Now go to the devices and click on switches. Now you can see the same variable which I've already created are added here, which is relay underscore one and relay underscore two. And also I can turn on the light using this relay as well. You can see the light is on my face. That means I can turn on the lights from the Alexa app as well. Like this, it's so simple. Now let's see the output of the project. So here is my setup. You can see here I'm using the ESP32 port, four channel relay module, so out of four, I'm only using the two relays and I'm controlling this LED bulb and the ring light. Now, let's see the output of the project. Alexa, turn on relay one. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay two. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay two. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay one. Okay. So this is how you can integrate Alexa with the Arduino IoT cloud platform. If you found this project useful for you, then do subscribe the channel, like the video, press the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.